Okay, James, I'm going to give you an A for creativity on this one here. I, I got to admit, I have not seen this quite like this before. What you did is, as you know, you put in a bunch of spaces here in order to go to the next line. So these are where those non-breaking spaces. So it's space, but there is no carriage return. So what it does is it just pushes this over far enough, as you know, that it then got to where you wanted it on the page. But depending on how wide your page is, you may even have a problem with that, even though it doesn't seem to do it until we get to, now see at this point here, yeah, see at this point here, we're still at 1,080 pixels. So we're not even into the uh, mobile range at this point. So we keep going down here. You got to get down to 770 before we're even going to get into the mobile range. So if you had um, an iPad, let's say at 1,024, close enough, this is what it's going to look like on an iPad. So let's uh, open this back up a little bit and um, just show you that on there. So obviously what you did here, A for creativity, but it's not going to work as you know. So here, let's just take a look at, so here's an iPad. Let's flip it sideways. So here we are, it's 1,024 pixels. And where did we all go to here? So clearly you have an issue here and that's okay. So let me show you how to fix that. What's going on there? And I'm flying all over the place here. Let me show you um, my fix on that. I lost my video for some reason. Um, so here's my fix on it, which is, so we have our bullet points like this and we have our text floated to the right. And how I did that, well, let's look at it in mobile first, make sure it looks okay. Same thing here, that floated to the right, looks pretty good. Uh, let's check it out on an iPad. Okay, there's uh, that, and there's that. Okay, working exactly how it should. Okay, what I did was um, I took your idea to begin with, which was to use the bullet point uh, element here. So we got our icon bullet point right there. And um, you know what that looks like. Let's just open that up here, drop in one right there so you can see what it would look like initially before I changed it up. But all I did is I came in here then and I just deleted out the bottom two lines left just the one line and then below it i dropped in a text element so i dropped in a subheadline element 24 pixels made it red bold all that stuff and then to pull it up tight enough underneath here i had to go with minus 10 pixels on the top margin you may even have to go a little bit more depending on how tight you want that but then also in here i told it to float it to the right so no matter what, it's going to text the line to the right, and um, and that solves the problem, and that's really it. So build one out, get everything looking the way you want it, then just clone it a bunch of times, and I got like 20 pixels top margin here just to push that down a little bit. So we got some separation, and if you do that, then you go to mobile, and that. I think is what you were going for because that certainly looked like uh, what you were trying to get at right here. So got any more questions, let me know.